grassroots advisor, Mr. K. Shamugam, uh, Nishun GRC grassroots advisors who are here today, Mr. Teo Chun Hock, honorary chairman of Chongpang CCC, Mr. Lim Chin Kyong, chairman of Chongpang CCC, and most important, chairman of the fundraising committee for this project. Residents, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. And also a very good morning to all the residents who are at the different sites all over Nisun, Nisun South, Nisun Central, Nisun East, and in the amphitheater. I'm happy that you're able to join us and enjoy the fun and the vibrance of this morning. I'm glad to be here today for the groundbreaking ceremony for Chongpang City. Chongpang has changed enormously over the years. I've seen some of these changes. Not all of it, but some of it. 100 years ago, before my time, this was a very small kampong. Maybe 100 households in the jungles, amidst, in the middle of the very Ulu area. Even until the 1970s, Chongpang was still a rural and remote part of Singapore. And all around, there were old rubber plantations, not tapped anymore, but still standing. And the SCF would use the areas for training. And I would come here and do training exercises. And after our evening night training, sometimes we would come here in Mofti for night snack at the Hawker Center. But that was before we redeveloped Chongpang Village into Nisun New Town. In 1980s, as we built new townships and HDB flats all over the island, we started to develop Nisun New Town, including here in Chongpang. And it meant that the residents and the shopkeepers had to be relocated from the kampongs at Chongpang Village to HDB flats, and many of them moved into Nisun to live here. But we took care to preserve some of the kampong spirit from the old village. HDB created the first Chongpang city, which was the first neighborhood center in Yishun town. And PA replaced the old kampong style CC with a modern Chongpang CC, for which Dr. Ko Lip Lin and the grassroots leaders worked very hard to raise money and to make the project successful, as you heard from Minister Shan just now. So because of that, the residents continue to enjoy shared community spaces, and more activities and programs that met their needs and interests. At that time, it was not so easy to persuade people to move into Nisun New Town. I know because I was an MP, new MP in Ang Mokyo in Tegi, and most families much preferred to go to Pishan or to Ang Mokyo because they were more developed, more amenities, closer to town. So, very often as an MP, when the young residents came to see me to ask to change their flat, they don't want to go to Nisun, they want to go to Amokyo, I would have to persuade them and explain to them that today Nisun is a new growing estate, but in a few years' time, its neighborhoods will be just as attractive, just as vibrant as Amokyo and Pishan. So please go to Nisun and enjoy your new flat there. And indeed, today, Nisun is a vibrant and thriving, family-friendly place. Full range of facilities and programs. And the residents are very happy to live here. And I think now, Nisun MPs get many requests for more next generation residents who want to buy their new flats in Nisun. And I think a few new flats will be coming if you listen to the Minister for National Development. <laughs> the new Chongpang City is part of the government's efforts to continually rejuvenate these areas. When it's completed in 2027, it will add freshness and vibrancy to the neighborhood. And as you heard just now from Min Shan, there will be community, social, and leisure activities all put together in one convenient location with programs to promote active lifestyles and enhance interaction amongst residents of all ages and all walks of life. Not just for those living in Chongpang, 
but all over Nisun and in the northern part of Singapore. It's a major project, and I thank the residents for sharing your ideas and providing feedback on what you would like to see. I also thank the MPs, the grassroots leaders, the volunteers, and the government agencies involved who have worked very hard to pull this together and make the new Chongpang city a reality. This is just one example, Chongpang city, of what we are doing all over Singapore. We are building HDB estates, but not just houses, also up-to-date amenities to meet the modern living needs of residents. We are progressively redeveloping the older precincts to refresh the living environment with new homes and new amenities and infrastructure. And we want every one of our HDB towns, new or old, to be of high quality. And most cities find this very difficult to achieve. If you go to most cities, you will see that some areas are very nice. That's where the tour guide will take you. But there will be other areas which you may not see as a tourist. Neighborhoods left behind without much amenities, dilapidated or run down, or inconvenient to live in because it's a long journey to commute, to work or to school. But in Singapore, we strive very hard to make all our new towns all our HDB towns highly livable. For one reason or other, there will be some which will still be more popular than others. I think that's just the way things are. It can't be helped. But whether the town is very popular or very, very popular, every town in HDB, every estate you live in, you can be assured that is well-planned, well-appointed, well-maintained with amenities, schools, clinics, hawker centres, kopitiams, sports facilities, good transport connectivity, not just within the town with shuttle bus services, but expressways, MRT lines to the rest of Singapore. And it'll be a good place to live in, and your property values will reflect that. This is the PAP's government, PAP government's promise to all Singaporeans that your HDB flat will be both a good home for you and your family and a valuable nest egg for your retirement. Our public housing system works, and I think Singaporeans know that. With your support, we will continue to keep this system running well and we will deliver on our promise to Singaporeans for many more years to come. Now let me say a few words in Mandarin. 各位朋友,大家早上好。很高兴今天能够在这个东土仪式上和中邦的居民见面。新的中邦城在2027年竣工后将焕然一新。这里会有许多 让居民可以齐聚一堂，参与休闲和保健活动，联系感情。政府向来致力于打造良好的居住环境，尽可能确保每一个主屋区都有完善的设施。有些主屋区可能会因为种种原因而更受欢迎，这是人之常情。但是你
要顺利实现各个计划，我们还需要各位居民的全力支持，团结一致，共同努力，确保我们的子孙后代可以过上美好的生活。让我们一起工作，一起前进，一起为我们的家人，为我们的国家争取成功胜利。谢谢各位。